Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Elise here of Plan with Elise, and today I am so excited to be sharing with you the JMB Living Spring Journal of 2022. So the package itself is a um, recyclable cardboard envelope, so there it's very environmentally friendly. And then the planner journal comes in this really nice linen tote. It says JMB here and the other side says, love yourself. So let's dive in. This journal starts in April. So it's shipping out now um, in March and you'll be able to start it in April and it will go April, May, and June. So we have a message from Julie, the founder and owner of the JMB Living Journal. And I'm really excited because this time we have an extra little gift that comes from a small woman owned business, Notes Up. So here is a little bit about Diane, the founder of Notes Up, and the idea of it started when she could not find a magnetic dry erase board for her stainless steel refrigerator because magnets do not stick to aluminum or stainless steel. So Notes Up is a mini dry erase board. Let's take a look. And it's flexible, reusable, and easy to clean. It adheres to stainless steel and aluminum, but also adheres to hard and smooth surfaces without leaving a sticky residue. So this is, ooh, and it's not sticky on the back. So I have a plant here. Let's see. This is a hard and smooth surface. It sticks. We're shaking it. It's not falling down. And then it comes with a liquid chalk marker. So shake marker with cap on for about 20 to 30 seconds. Remove the cap and then press the tip repeatedly. Let me find something to press the tip on. Repeatedly on a flat surface. So this is kind of similar to paint markers like acrylographs or something like that. Until the tip fills up with ink don't apply too much pressure. The chalk marker works best when the notes up notepad is in a horizontal position. Okay, there we go. And then where is where is our heart? So you can use this for anything. You can use this for self-love affirmations. You can use this for your top three to-dos of the day, things like that on your desk. Um, so let's write... Ooh, this is pretty. Let's see if we have enough room to write yourself on here. I think I should if I just make these letters skinny. <laughs> okay, and then let's find the cap. And I believe this is supposed to erase it. Let's see if it's dry. It's not dry yet. So we're going to put this aside for now. But that is a gift that comes, a gift from Notes Up that comes when you purchase the JMB Living Journal. I also want to note for you, if you have not purchased the JMB Living Journal before, there is a discount code ELISE10, which will give you 10% off your first journal purchase. So if you've purchased before, this discount code won't work. But if you are a first-time buyer, you can use code ELISE10, and I will, of course, link it in the description. So I always talk about the JMB Living Journal cover. This is like a buttery, soft cover. It's really durable, and I love the woman here on the front. I just feel that it's incredibly inclusive. And then on the back, may your heart be filled with joy. May you pursue mindfulness throughout your journey. May you find balance in all things that you may create the beauty of a life well lived from Julie. All right, so let's flip through. Now, if you've seen one of my flip throughs before, we're going to do this in a couple of different pieces because I want, um, I don't want to give away too much of the content that's been so it's that she's so carefully curated, but also I want you to be able to get an idea of what this journal looks like and how it can work for you. So we have an index, and again, this starts in April. So these are about journal suggestions and perspectives, vision of an ideal life, annual dreams, seasonal dream paths, monthly dream steps, intentions and focus, habit tracker, and daily page prompts. 
So all of this really explains to you how you can use the journal. And then here is the space that you'll fill in your annual dreams and seasonal dream paths in these categories, spiritual, relationships, abundance, health, growth, and fun. And then we have a vision board here. So the vision of your ideal life, and then the April calendar and an intention for April. And I also love how Julie includes a soft focus and simple seasonal indulgences. And then we also have the May calendar and June. All right, next up we have the month and everything that's going to be included. So first up are the April dream steps. So for each of the seasonal dream paths from page seven over here, we are going to list one to three steps that you can take during the month to lead you one step closer to creating your dreams. And then this is probably my favorite part of the JMB Living Journal. I talk about this every season, the habit tracker, because Julie includes a habit to make and a habit to break. And I feel like we don't often see that. We see habit trackers as habits to make, but we don't always see them as one to break. So an example of one I've used in the past as one to break is not checking my work email after hours. All right, then we have affirmations, inspiration, and then some place where you can journal or you can write down your own affirmations. And then this is what the daily journal looks like. So the weekdays have a full sided page. So abundance in my life, today's affirmation, one thing I can do to move me toward creating my dreams, today's commitment to self care, my best win, beauty I noticed and what gave me joy. And then the weekends are split into two of these. Right. Then we have week one. So week one, there's going to be a mindful moment challenge and a focus. And the focus of week one is awakening. And then we have the dailies. And this is fun, colorful, happy little flowers. So this is a poem. I don't want, I'm going to mispronounce this word wrong. Heige. I, I'm sorry to those who know and I'm pronouncing it wrong, but found the Danish practice most closely translated to coziness, encourages her to seek margin in her life. It helps Kim to slow down, pause, reflect, and embrace the everyday ordinary routines of life with a heart of gratitude. And I love the details in this journal. I love that there are quotes to just kind of carry you through the week. Here is a meditation to awakening your inner voice. And then we have a story here about, who is this? Um, this is from Barrett Freebert, who guides clients to heal their trauma and, and release self-sabotage to create healthy, vibrant lives and lasting results. And then we have week two is curiosity with the mindful moment challenge, more quotes to carry you through each day. And then we have a note here from Heidi, who is a certified life coach, mother of two, wife, birth mom, and member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter -day, Latter Day Saints. Works with clients to find emotional freedom and gain confidence in the future of creating a life they love. World Art Day. Find a way to celebrate creativity today on World Art Day, April 15th. Ideas to spark your curiosity. And now we have a story from Sam Doyle, who is a seeker, a storyteller, a wellness woman. Week three is femininity. Oh, I love this. Is this like a coloring page? Let me see if I have a note here. This is a coloring page. This is an empowering coloring page. How much fun would it be to just kind of sit for a moment? Today when I'm filming this, it's International Women's Day. So a divine woman, goddess, strong, powerful, ethereal, Gaia. Um, Muhair, Donna, warm, bold, worthy, femme, successful, and glowing. And then we have, oh, Earth Day. And then this is, a, oh, okay, so this is Erica, who is the cover, the cover girl. Uh, guided Place is a home for cultivating self-acceptance and wholeness. Erica, owner and practitioner, creates opportunities and tools to come home to yourself. I love that. Every time that I spend time in this journal week for is clarity. I always feel just a little bit more centered and soothed. And I love the way that Julie curates this journal. 
Then we have notes from Jane Shantz, who is a management consultant, executive change coach, and most importantly, mother to four. She focuses on the human elements of change. All right, so we are still here in April. And then we have a story from uh, Kate De La Cruz, who is a self-love and self-care advocate, a mindfulness meditation student. And now we are at the end of April. So here is your collection of notes, ideas, and inspiration and April reflections. Now we have May dream steps and May habit progress in terms of a habit to make and a habit to break. Week five is intuition. And we'll go a little bit more quickly through this because now you've seen what an entire month looks like. This is another coloring page. My intuitive self is guiding me in a lot of different fonts here. I love that. My intuitive self is guiding me. The average person thinks 50,000 thoughts a day. 50,000. That's a lot. Now I know I am so tired. Here is a coloring worksheet to help you filter through all that noise. Week six is choice and direction. Again, we are in May here. This is a three-month journal. Then we have this note from Ashley, who is the founder of the Love Your Body Academy and helps women increase energy, upregulate their metabolism, and revive their health so they can create a vibrant and aligned life. And then the weekend, and then, ooh, World Bake Baking Day. Celebrate World Baking Day with a baker in the JMB living community. I also want to note when you purchase this journal, you do have access to the JMB living community Facebook group where everyone can chat about their progress and what you're working on as you work through this journal. Week seven is productivity and time management. And then this is from Jennifer Allen, who is a yoga instructor. Oh, um, I'm going to try to get this word. Ayurvedic wellness counselor, outdoor guide, and sole purpose coach. She has been practicing, studying, and teaching yoga for over half her life. We have International Tea Day. So here is a note from Julie about one of her favorite memories of travel and tea. And then this is a note from Sarah Beth, an acupuncturist, Chinese herbalist, and spiritual coach. Week eight is communication. This is Sonia, the founder of the Inner Radiant Life. There's that word again, Ayurvedic wellness counselor and holistic educator. I like this. Sometimes we allow our lives to become too full without even realizing it. Stop saying sorry for. Yes, 100%. Are you always apologizing nonstop? Feel sorry for everything that goes wrong. Is apologizing too much sometimes normal? I like this. Um, Rayan is a holistic healing and mindfulness practitioner, scholar, yogini, and author who and author who offers her blending lifetime skills and knowledge with holistic body, mind, spirit approach. And now we have your collection of notes, ideas, and inspiration, and May reflections. And now we are on to month three: June dream steps and June habit progress. Week nine is routines. This note is from Kara, who is practicing yoga therapist, mentor, and energy guide dedicated to the unfolding of truth and love in all of life. And this is Sarah from Simple and Intentional. It was created from a desire to share with other women the profound change Sarah had made in her own life through simplifying. I can't wait to work through this. I am in desperate need of simplifying just a bit. Week 10 is authenticity. Uh, this is a quote from Nikki, who enjoys spending time in nature, yoga philosophy, and writing. And her Instagram is here as well. Questions for helping you discover your authentic self. Then we have this from Michelle of Hiding Owl, Di Hiding Owl Diaries. This is the Instagram home for Michelle Terry's whimsical and thought-provoking poetry. Week 11 is self-compassion. And then a quote from Christine, a licensed clinical social worker and founder of Sweet Mango Therapy Group, providing teletherapy for women in the San Francisco Bay Area, California. 
Okay, now we have the compassion barometer. So here is a little test you can give yourself to see where you stand on compassion. Okay, sorry. And then we have week 12 is inner peace, which I think is something that we're all consistently seeking. This is cool, a DIY crystal infused terrarium. These are instructions from Donna, who is a plant crystal and woodworking enthusiast. And we're still working on inner peace here. And then we have these notes from Linda, who is a trauma-informed certified holistic health and wellness coach, certified Ayurveda counselor and author. Week 13 is empowerment. Oh, also, I just remembered that um, this woman, I think her name was Nikki. She is a member in the JMB Living community, JMB Living Journal community, which I think is amazing because this isn't just a model or someone who's photographed and then they took the photo and put it here. This is one of our members of the community, and I think it's amazing that Julie has included her on here. Then we have notes from Abby, who is an essential oil guide who takes a holistic approach to healthy living. And then your collection of notes, ideas, and inspiration, and June reflections. Now we have notes for next season. So the next one will be summer, which will be July, August, and September. And you have the 2022 calendar and 2023 calendar as well. And here is how you can connect with other members of the JMB Living community in your mindful living journal. So that is the JMB Living Journal Spring Edition. I also wanted to make a couple of notes that Julie shared with me of changes that are going to come um, in future issues just based on feedback that she's had in the community, from the community. So there's af there will be affirmations inspiration page. Julie also removed the pocket from the back cover based on customer feedback and to make and to maintain sustainability practices. Um, the quote on Mondays, let's go to a Monday. We have a Monday here. This quote is going to be replaced with an affirmation that aligns with the weekly theme. So there'll be an affirmation here that'll align with the weekly theme, and that will begin in the fall journal. And then the journaling how-to pages that we saw in the beginning, these are going to be moved over to the website so that Julie can increase the amount of functional and usable pages in the journal. So I hope you enjoyed this flip through. I think that this is just such an amazing journal and it's so thoughtfully curated and inclusive and um, I'm, I'm a big fan and I always just feel more centered and calm as I do my work in this journal. Again, if this is your first order, you can save 10% using code ELISE10 linked below. So let's take a look here. Of course, this is dry at this point, and maybe it's not fully dry because I feel like that shouldn't smear, but I'm sure that I could just use some water too. I've never used chalk markers before, so I'm not entirely sure. Let's see, how to use and care. Probably says here completely dry before using. You probably can use a little bit of water here. I feel like that would make that would make the most sense. So um, I will I will try that out. But I'm thrilled about this edition. This is again from Notes Up and the founder is Diane. So let me know in the comments if you have tried the JMB Living Journal or if this is the time that you are going to try it for the spring journal 2022. And thank you so much for watching. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, please do take a moment to like this video and subscribe. Thank you so much to Julie for sending this to me and I will see you all next time.